Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rajiv Singh from Department of Geology, University of Lucknow. In this lecture, I am going to demonstrate the clinography projection of the, tet the tetrahedron. This is the tetrahedron. This belongs to the cubic system and class is tetrahedride. It means that symmetry element are different for the tetrahedra in comparison to the cube, octahedra, because they are belong to the normal uh, class or uh, galna type class of the cubic system, but it belongs to the tetrahedrite class, class of the cubic system. Okay, the tetrahedra, as its name suggests, tetra means four hedra, means faces, so it consists of four faces okay. and all four faces are equilateral triangular faces. It is a closed form, you can see. It is a closed form. Okay. Tetrahedron is a closed form having four equilateral triangular faces, and each face cuts all three crystallographic at an equal distance. The Miller indices will be similar to the octahedron. Like in octahedron, you get the 111, here you can get the 111. That is positive tetrahedron is considered as 111 and uh, one, 1 bar 1 is considered as the negative tetrahedron. Now I am going to discuss the symmetry element. You can hold like this, then you have four situations, same kind of situation, you have four, but all these four affix, one affix and one center are the equilateral triangle. The line passing through the one fx, uh, one corner of the tetrahedron, and center of the opposite uh, equilateral triangular face. So you will get what threefold. So it means these are the four uh, lines which are showing threefold. And in cubic system, crystallographic axis are only three. So so it means it is a diagonal axis in cube also you get a diagonal axis which show the four four symmetry and number of such kind of axis is four so these are the, the diagonal axis which this is not the crystallographic axis these are the diagonal axis then wh where is the crystallographic axis because we have to first recognize the crystallographic axis so when you hold like this Okay, means midpoint of the edge. Midpoint of the edge. Hold from the midpoint of the edge and opposite one. So this will become top. This will become front to by and this is the left to right. You have to hold like this. Now, when you will rotate, you can say that it, it is showing only two-fold symmetry. No. It is showing four fold roto inversion in four fold roto inversion as per definition four fold roto inversion means you have to rotate along one axis 90 degree and then rotate inward along perpendicular axis so now try this face is having the wave apex upward and flat line aside downward now rotate 90 degree you get apex downward and this side was at upside but when you rotate invert it then what will we get you will get apex upward and flat which was the earlier one means after rotating 90 degree and inverting it we are getting same kind of face so this is called fourfold roto inversion and how many axes are three so three axes of the fourfold roto inversion so these are the crystallographic axis so how many axis of symmetry three crystallographic axis which are showing fourfold roto inversion and four such kind of diagonal axis which are showing the threefold rotation now regarding the plane of symmetry so just take a marker or anything and Determine the midpoint of the sides. 
ओके नाउ मार्केट देयर आर थ्री मिड पॉइंट नाउ ज्वाइन अपेक्स विद द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ अपोजिट साइड अ प्लेन विल पास थ्रू द टू साइड एंड वन एज आई एम होल्डिंग लाइक दिस नाउ यू कैन रिकोगनाइज दिस लाइन इज गोइंग ओके नाउ दिस इज अगेन गोइंग बट दिस साइड इट इज एज ऑफ द टेट्राहेड्रॉन ओके सो द प्लेन इज पॉसिंग थ्रू द मिड ऑफ द टू इक्विलेटरल फेसेस एंड एज ऑफ द टेट्राहेड्रॉन लाइक या सिमिलरली यू कैन गेट अनदर फेस फ्रॉम हियर ओके इट विल ऑल्सो गो थ्रू अगेन मिड ऑफ द प्लेन एंड दिस इज दीज आर द मिरर प्लेन नाउ सो यू विल गेट हाउ मेनी सिक्स मिरर प्लेन दैट्स वाई दैट्स वाई द हरमन मुगियन सिंबल ऑफ द टेट्रा हाइड्राइड इज फोर बार दैट्स वाई द हरमन मुगियन सिंबल ऑफ द टेट्रा हाइड्राइड इज फोर बार थ्री एंड एम एम रिप्रेजेंट्स द सिक्स मिरर प्लेन्स थ्री रिप्रेजेंट्स these three fold four axis of three fold symmetry and four bar there are three crystallographic which are showing this is the showing the four fold roto inversion the general symbol of this uh, crystal is hhh similar to the uh, octahedron and there are two type of the tetrahedron first one consider as positive that is 1 1 and second one is consider as negative that is 1 1 bar and 1 now moving to the clinographic projection of the tetrahedra now draw the axis of the cubic system the ratio is same 2 inch a1 5.4 inch a2 and 6 inch a3 there are two type of the tetrahedra first one is positive second one is negative first one can consider as 1 1 1 and second one is consider as 1 bar 1 so for uh, drawing two tetrahedra on same page within one page so we will reduce the axis of the length of the axis of the a1 a2 and a3 in respective ratio so just mark the midpoint of these uh, axis and generate a new axis says this is where a3 a1 will be a1 inch A2 will be 2.7 inch and A3 will be 3 inch, which is the ratio of the cubic system. Okay, so let us start it. You have to draw two uh, such kind of axes. One for uh, positive tetrahedron, second for the negative tetrahedron. Uh, top portion one and one is in bottom portion of the paper. okay so let us start drawing of the tetrahedra now let us start abc are the a1 axis dc is the a2 axis ef is the a3 similarly here also draw the uh, one face of the one 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 face of the octahedron that is joining the all positive end of the all three axis okay this is the join uh, face joining the positive end of the uh, all three axes now join the this negative end also okay so we have drawn two face here now we have to draw the parallel lines so this line passing through the a is parallel to the ec again this line is passing through the c and parallel to the ae now this is passing through the e and parallel to the ac this one is parallel to the bc back end face h bc and parallel to the bc and passing through the f next one will be parallel to ev and passing through the d now we got four points intersection points these are the four intersection points these are the corner of the octahedra so now join this corner
now joining these four corners you get the front faces of the tetrahedron this one is the one front face this one is second one face now now join the j2h so this will give the back end of the face okay and these are the front face of the tetrahedra and now you can see there are four color variation or you can see the four uh, faces all four faces of the tetrahedra front face only ij gj is front face and ihg is front face y face is j h g and i h j so and for the miller indices this face which one i h g you can see it intersect here a1 axis here a2 axis and he this side a3 uh, a3 axis so the uh, Miller indices of this phase will be 1 1 1 for this front face it is intercepting negative a2 and negative a3 so, and positive a1 so it will be 1 1 bar 1 bar now for this phase which is behind the back phase j h g it intercept uh, negative a1 positive a2 and negative a3 so this phase miller indices is bar one one bar one now this phase i h j this will intercept positive a3 negative a1 and negative a3 so this uh, miller indices of this phase will be one bar one bar one now let's start dying the negative one similarly draw the octahedron this side uh, means below or joining the negative end of the a3 and join the back face again now we start drawing the parallel lines from a parallel to the bc okay from a parallel to the ac uh, passing through the D and parallel to the C C F. A line passing through the each parallel to the V C. A line passing through the A parallel to the F C. And a uh, line parallel to the D passing through the B F. Now a line passing through the F parallel to the A C. And last one is the line passing through the C and parallel to the AF so again we get four points these are the four points now join them so these lines red lines only only join these points you get front two faces first one is igj and second one is igh so considering ijj this will intercept positive a1 positive a2 and negative a3 so this one is one 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 bar this one is face is intercepting negative a2 positive a1 and positive a3 so this one is 1 1 bar 1 this now join a line from j to h this will give you the bike uh, faces that is h g j and h j i and miller indices will be it is intercepting negative a1 positive a2 and positive a3 so miller indices will be 1 bar 1 1 and for 
एच जे आई विच इज इंटरसेप्टिंग निगेटिव ए वन निगेटिव ए टू एंड निगेटिव ए थ्री सो दिस फेल बीज हैव ऑल थ्री बार मींस बार वन बार वन बार वन दीज आर द फेसेस फोर फेसेस ऑफ द निगेटिव टेट्राहेड्रा थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग